What well, beloved dub dub motherfuckers? What is going on, everyone? It is I. Everyone's favorite jack of all trades with a foul mouth, Common Urban, YouTube's original Ocean Liner channel. And I want to give a big shout out to all of my fans and subscribers. Thank you for joining me once again. And for all the trolls and haters out there, a big ol' fuck you. Now, with all that shit, body doll. As you can see, we have a menu, and we have two luggage tags. So you're probably thinking, why in the hell do we have a fucking menu and two fucking luggage tags? Well, that menu and those luggage tags came from the same ship. Two identities, one ship. And anyway, this is a this is a uh, a request video. My good buddy Jerry Borgett requested me to do like an updated review on this kit. And so anyway, without any further ado, Jerry, this is for you, buddy. So I hope you enjoy this. We're going to do a revised review uh, of the Glencoe Models SS France in one 450th scale. That is a weird fucking scale, by the way. So here we have we have the box. Big fucking box. Big old fucking box. Um, you got the image of the ship. Which, by the way, it is absolutely fucking wrong. The windows and shit on the front, uh, they're, you know, they're slightly too small. The front of the bridge is too fucking rounded. Um, there's no breakwater. There's, like, no breakwater whatsoever there. Um... These boats should be, these boats here should be, um, motorized whale boats. And there's just, and the boat looks really squanched. If I can maybe back up a little bit, I can show you the whole box and the whole image. See? Anyway. This is the image they should have went with, with an actual picture of the France. Beautiful ship she was. There's some information regarding her. A lot of information. If you guys want to pause and read it, you can. But quite a bit of stuff. That's the reason why I have this kid. That menu is from when she was in France. And those are during the early years when she was in Norway. Okay, you got the side, ends of the box. The kit number was 09302. And of course, there's a French. For anyone that fucking speaks French, you can read that shit. Of course, it's France, and of course, it's made in the good old fucking U.S. of A. Hell yeah! It was made in 1996. This is a 25-year-old model kit. Okay, so anyway, that's the box. Big fucking box. Now I'm going to show you guys the instruction sheet real quick. Well, it's not really an instruction sheet. It's more like just a big two pieces of fucking paper. And of course, there is more information regarding the France like you know like length beam gross tonnage decks so on and so forth and well this is the painting guide pretty lousy fucking painting guide see pretty lousy fucking painting guide I didn't even use a fucking painting guide when I done this I looked at real photographs of the France so here are your steps you know, step one, step two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And of course, 10 is optional for your rigging. See, rigging material thread not included. So, and of course, there's all your call outs for all your parts. Of course, there we see these little sailor guys standing around everywhere. So, yeah, I can tell you right now the two colors, this model was molded in two colors of plastic, fucking black and gray. I can tell you right now it was a bitch to paint. Fucking bitch, bitch bitch to paint. So now I'm going to set the box down. 
Okay, we're gonna fucking set this son of a bitch down. I wanna put the model on here for you guys to take a look at. There we go, guys. Here she is. The legendary SS France. Now, I've done a little bit of work on her since I originally built her. But, you know, like I added the builder's plate right there in the center. I added the, um, the marker light. I've cleaned it up. I've added... I just added a little bit more trim and detail here and there. And, um... I changed out the f French flag. There was, I, there was another one on there, but I changed out for a bigger one. You know, just stuff like that. So, what are my so what are my views or my thoughts about this model kit? Well, it's not a bad model kit, but like uh, Glencoe did with the SS United States, they um, they bought tooling and dies. That were originally from Idea Toy Corporation, which Idea Toy Corporation was the one that made the original France models in the 1960s because of the popularity of the French Superliner. So they cashed in on the craze. Now, is this model kit of the famed French Superliner 100% accurate? Eh, fuck no, it's not fucking. It's accurate to a certain degree, but for somebody that was like a fucking rivet counter, somebody that was like fucking like perfectionist, like me, it, it's fucking bothersome because there's a lot of shit you'd have to do and fucking change on the son of a bitch to make it more accurate. Like the propellers, they're too far back. They should be a little bit further forward here in this area here. That's so fucking far back there. Um, the this deck house here was not sunk in. It this area here was glassed, domed, and the funnels weren't sunk down. They were sitting on top. So I would have you would have to add a piece of styrene plastic fill in that, and a piece of styrene plastic fill in this area here, because it was not like that. This was a solid deck house and didn't have that weird little deck house thing there. Um, the vents, those are your air vents, those were hand painted on there by me. Those are actually accurate to what would have been there on the ship. Do you see how the funnel is sitting like right there? But it's, the funnels are fucking sunk down. They weren't sunk down, they were fucking flush with the top of the deck houses. And the name board, I should have done it, but the name board was solid white. But I painted them black. I might change them. I might take those off and maybe take some white spray paint, spray them white, and change it up a little bit. Maybe put some glow in the dark paint on them. Letters to make them glow. I don't know. Um, definitely one thing I would definitely redo is buy some sort of photo etch brass railing because this kit does no fucking railing on it whatsoever. I get some photo etch railing and put on here. But it'd be kind of hard to find railing in one four fifty scale. That's a weird fucking scale. I mean, that is a shitty scale. And another thing I absolutely do not fucking like is these pedestal things. This one fucking turns a lot, but these pedestal things are a fucking joke. I mean, I guess they look nice on the model, but these pedestal things are a fucking joke. But, and another thing I would do, if you look at the windows, you see the how the windows are here? You'd have to fill it in with putty and redo it because as you can see here the windows are a totally different fucking arrangement than they what they are here on the kit but this was made like I said in the 1960s from the original tooling and molds the anchors are somewhat different than what they should be here and of course the the prowl anchor is slightly too high it should be right about here here I am fucking nitpicking and bitching about it but I mean overall it's a nice model kit, and if you've got some modeling skills like me, you can take it and transform it like I have. See, I see the windows and shit. Like, a lot of the details stuff, like all the windows and stuff on the mast, which follow like it is here, I painted all that shit on there, so. And the life rafts, those are molded on the deck. 
And of course, fucking thing falls out. By the way, since it fucking fell off, this is what color the fucking plastic was. The majority of the kit was this fucking nasty gray ass plastic, which is fucking garbage. Absolutely fucking shit. Uh, ah, sweet motherfucker. Give me a moment to fuck, pop this thing back on. There we go. But yeah. Like I said, it's not a bad kit. And you can find them online. They go between about 50 to 100 bucks. This one, um... My mother bought this one for me. You know, my mother and my father both bought it for me. This was the last model that my <clears throat> my father saw before he passed away. So this one does have a little bit of a um, sentimental value to me because this is the last model he saw me build and work on, and he he was impressed with it. So I mean, overall, it's a nice. It it really is a nice model. I'm not saying the fucking name. But if, if you, what I would do differently, like I said, I would definitely would buy photo etch and stuff, and I'd get some putty and fill in some stuff and change it. And I might get, if I can, I'll probably get two of these kits, because then I can build another France. And if I really feel like having a big old fucking pair of balls and some guts, I would definitely chop it up and cut it up and make an early version of the Norway during the Norwegian Caribbean line era. Not the, the, not the era with the big ugly decks that have been stacked on top of her and make her look like a piece of shit. But, yeah, there you go. So, this is what the kit looks like. Completely built if you take your time with it and actually paint it the way it should be. Not follow, not follow these shitty ass paint guide. Do not use that paint guide, guys. It's fucking shitty shitty fucking crap so yeah there you go guys and I hope this um, I hope this um, you know piques your curiosity Jerry you're the one that fucking requested for this video so there you have it there's the Glencoe models SS France if you guys have any questions or comments about anything you know leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back with you and if you guys have any requests for any future video Drop it in the comment you know, in the comments, and I'll, I'll, I'll do it. So there you go. So, until next time, guys. This is Comet Irvin saying, "Have smooth seas and clear skies. Have a sun with all of you. God bless all of you. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And um, you know, anchors away, motherfuckers. And God bless all of you. And until next time, uh, I'll see you later. Bye."